So I'm back from London and it was really great. At least for me, I really, really love London. It just, I love the people there. I love the atmosphere. Uh, I don't know. I just love everything there. And as a bonus, they have a really cool shop. So yeah, um, I was trying to film a full London video. Um, basically talking about the stuff that I got and a little bit into details and um, adding pictures that I took and stuff like that, but my camera just died. Basically the battery, the, sorry, the memory is full, so yeah. So I'll have to uh, first download what I filmed so far and then uh, erase whatever is in the camera and then film the rest. So. If you're gonna see me having two different looks or lighting or whatever in the video, uh, I just want to let you know that it's because of that my memory just died. Um, what else could I say? Um, my neck is still hurting a lot. I basically can't feel all this area and it's weak. And here it's just, there are huge knots and even though I'm doing my best to stay straight and stretch my neck and um, and going to massage therapist, it's obviously not going any better. So I'll be having, unfortunately in two weeks, the appointment with the neurosurgeon and Hopefully they'll do an MRI and see whatever is wrong, if it's, uh, well, they, they all told me that it's most likely um, a disc, but I hope it's not disc, that it's actually just a really bad muscle contraction and yeah, that I'll need physical therapy. I'd rather take physical therapy than surgery anytime and yeah, right now I'm taking a lot of opioids to calm the pain because uh, painkillers, the traditional type, don't help at all when it's nerve problems and opioids seem the only thing that's helping me. I'm trying to really really take minimal, minimal dosage so that I don't get a lot of side effects and I personally don't like to take uh, painkillers or well any type of drug. I, I, like, I like to keep it in a minimum. Um, what else could I say? Um, I'm not sure if you read on the comments, but yeah, um, my mother's having a lot of problems and it's, well, taking a big toll on me. I'm extremely stressed out. Um, and when I'm extremely stressed out, I go from binge eating to not eating and it varies and I do my best to not do that but when you're like all day not eating at all because your stomach is in a knot then you yeah you eat whatever there is a point where you break and you start eating whatever and I've put on a little bit of weight because of that and I'm overall not feeling well because of it because uh, my joints don't like that extra weight and uh, Obviously everything in me, my body doesn't work optimally, so hopefully I'm going back to eating my like healthy food or whatever works for me and going back to the gym to relieve a bit my stress, but I can't do either a lot in the gym like I would like to because of my arm and neck problem, so it really sucks. Um, and I cannot go in huge walks because it's full of snow. So, yeah. In London it was great. I was walking all day long from 10 in the morning till 9 in the evening. And I just love to walk. It's just something I really like. Even though I have blisters in my feet, it was painful, but I love to walk. And yeah, so the situation with my mom is just... It's been like that ever since I'm a child. I have huge traumas, huge, huge issues because of it. I go to a therapist, blah, 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 because it's really, it's a huge weight on me. And 
telling to somebody uh, my story, most the first reaction is that it's a morbid horror story, my life, or at least a big portion of it. And um, I, I try to be optimistic uh, as much as I can because it helps. And um, I try to appreciate small things in life in order to keep myself happy. And yeah, because sometimes when you receive so many blasts, you can just um, end up losing perspective. In terms of my mother, my father tried to kill her and it just, I don't know how to explain it, it just blasted me. It's blast after blast after blast and um, I have breakdowns like everybody, I just, I understand uh, why I'm going through this, but I am, so I cannot change that. And of course, she asked for my help. Um, and I'm doing my best to help her. She is, she is uh, mentally not okay. She's been abused for so long and she is um, also mentally attached to him. Um, it has nothing to do with love at all. It just... Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of Stockholm Syndrome, but it's something like that. And she's just someone that doesn't defend herself. She she doesn't know what it is to defend. And she is often used by people because she doesn't realize when people are being mean to her. I don't know if it's because of her mental disorder or whatever, but she is like that. and. And yeah, so it, it, it just hurts me enormously and and um I don't know, I'm 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 trying to keep my life together as, as best as I can, but sometimes it's it's really hard because I don't know, you, you get those blasts, you, you just uh, I feel like I just have enough time to, okay, pick up the pieces from the last blast and then I receive another one and I feel like I'm constantly picking up myself up and not fully recovering from anything. But, yeah, and... Um, right now, I, I don't know if I mentioned, but I failed two courses last year of my studies Again, everything came up, a uh, lot of my illnesses, um, my mother's situation, and I have ADHD, so that didn't help and it was like crumbling. I didn't pass through my courses. Now I'm restudying or attempting to restudy two of those courses plus an additional one that I have to if I want to graduate in end of 2014 and it's it's I'm trying to focus on that and now with my mother's situation it's my head doesn't want to stay there especially when you have ADHD is like uh, even worse <laughs> so I I don't know I'm I'm trying to keep my mind out of the problem but it's constantly reminded from it because either my mother sends me a text message or my sister is calling me or something and and it's it's just yeah there is just as much that I can handle and do um, which is also a reason why I haven't been really doing any videos I mean Of after what happened with my arm and with my mother situation and it just um I I felt overwhelmed. I, I tried to do a video like start talking and then it's just overwhelming. I, I don't know how to start talking or saying anything because my 
my mind is just wandering. It's not staying in what I want to say, so I apologize for that. And on a bright note, which um, I always try to keep myself positive, as I said, um, I don't know if you're aware, but I already have two diplomas for makeup artistry, but I wanted to, um, I don't know, be in the makeup artistry world more involved and also learn uh, more because you, you never know enough, at least in makeup artistry, it's always, it's a creative process. So um, the more you learn, the more, I think the more open you become to more possibilities and options. So I had an interview with Makeup Forever Academy and I got accepted, which was a huge thing for me because they get many applicants and they don't take as many. Only something like 10 people or 12. And it would be basically 8 hours per day for 8 months plus the inter internships either in a movie production, theater, uh, model agency or whatever. And basically even though it covers things that I have already done, such as beauty, editorial, and bridal makeup and things like that, it also covers special effects, uh, uh, high definition uh, television, um, uh, really studio photography, which is something that I'm not familiar with, uh, wigs, uh, characterization, theater, all that. And I'm really excited because I want to uh, perfect my my skills that's something really important for me and for me I feel I need to have a creative outlet um, in order to be happy I enjoy studying physics but it doesn't allow me for or it doesn't let my cre full creativity to flow and I feel really really happy when I'm able to do the makeup on someone or when I'm talking about that or interacting with other enthusiastic people, uh, exchanging ideas and yeah, basically exchanging inspirations and that that just really boosts me and makes me so happy. So uh, when I had the interview, what I really liked with them is that they had that, that enthusiasm. It was like infectious. It it made me feel really good and that's basically what I, I need or at least what I yearn for. So yeah, um, I'm going on Friday to model for them um, so that, uh, well, it's their way of um, getting me to know the people there and and being actually in the reverse role, which is also important for a makeup artist that you know what it is like to be the one um, sitting there and getting the makeup done because then, it, I don't know, it gives you a feel of how you should be with the person because always when you're putting makeup on someone, it's, a, it's someone with emotions and feelings, it's not just a canvas. So you, you have to be um, sensitive about it, you have to uh, take into account that it's their face, it's not yours. So um, I've seen a lot of makeup artists being extremely rough to the model skin and because they just take it like a canvas and they're doing whatever. And I don't think that's actually polite and nice because let's face it, it's not your face in the end, okay? It's someone else. So you have to respect that as well. So I also like to be in the other side so that I get to feel that and it sort of reminds me of how I would like to be treated and how I should treat others. And yeah, so probably I'll get some pictures and I'll post it in the blog. It should be the theme bald head, which is something really interesting because I've never seen myself completely bald. And um, what else? Oh yeah, uh, I'll be starting in August, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, I still need to catch up on the funding because it's really, really expensive. So 
yeah, that's it. And what else? Mm. I don't know what else to say. Mm. I'll, I guess, I'll do my best to put one to two videos per week, one good quality videos per week on reviews or miscellaneous and if any of you guys like those type of vlog videos of me then let me know I'm more than happy of doing those as well um, the one I have been making is the London uh, trip and then I was thinking of uh, uploading one for the uh, foundations because I'm having I think something like 20 foundations that I'm going to upload the reviews on and I'll be putting them on sale because I don't need to have that many <laughs> so um, Yeah, and that's only maybe one-fourth of my foundation collection or actually one-third so um, Yeah, if any of you then would be interested in uh, Purchasing them they're in good condition. I always keep them in a cool and dark place and yeah, so I'll be putting them uh, later on for sale and I have already put a lot of stuff for sale in my blog as well a lot of good stuff for pale, for pale skins and basically blog sale is a way of me of or a way for me to recycle products so that I don't keep products that I'm not really gonna use even professionally not because they're bad but just because I have my clear favorites so I have things that I really like and yeah for example I had 12 shimmer bricks from Bobbi Brown I have put on sale I think two or three they're practical and new but uh, I have others that were really similar shades so I don't really need to have that um, I usually collect makeup like uh, limited editions and things like that but I sometimes need to keep it a bit down because otherwise it just gets too much and also by it gets it gives the chance to people to try things that maybe it's not available to them for a reduced price and um, you can be sure that the products are always I always keep them hygienic and in good condition and what else yeah, it, it gives me a chance to then uh, get new products in order to review them and uh, let know other people's my opinion on them. And um, yeah, that's it, I think. So let me know in the comments down below if um, what you would like my next video to be or any suggestions or whatever and if you like these kind of videos then give me a thumbs up and yeah so don't forget to check my blog and subscribe to my blog I tend to update there pretty often what's going on and pictures and things like that also don't forget to check my blog sale I'm having uh, discount now according to how many products you're purchasing but it's up to minus 20% so check it out there is a lot of cool stuff there and a lot of stuff that unfortunately I can't keep because I feel bad for them <laughs> yeah I just feel bad that they're staying there and I'm, I'm not gonna use them or not gonna use them all up so yeah Anyways, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like this video again if you like it and see you next time. Bye bye!